are you doing today? It's Farah here today with another makeup tutorial for you. Today I'm doing this uh, Carly Kloss inspired makeup look and if you've seen the L'Oreal Paris La, Nude, La Palette Nude ads, she looks absolutely stunning. Her makeup is a nod towards the 60s which is what I did a, my rendition of uh, Carly Kloss is so so gorgeous in the ad and by no means do I come anywhere close to her but I wanted to give this a go so if you like it please keep on watching and those of you who are new to my channel welcome and please hit subscribe right now to not miss any of my new videos in your feed and yeah with that Let's get started. Prior to filming, I've already moisturized my skin with the Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Advanced Face Serum and then I'm going in with my La Roche Posay Hydra Face Intense Ligere Moisturizer and then I'm going in with the La Roche Posay Sunblock and SPF 30 followed by the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and put it all over the places where I have pimples or discoloration marks and just, yeah, put it all over the marks. Then once I'm finished, I'm going to take the 213S Concealer Brush and blend in all that concealer making it look seamless. Next I'm going in with my MAC Powder Blush in Harmony uh, with an angled contouring brush and just going to carve out my cheekbones, put the powder under my cheekbones, uh, on the top of my temples, underneath my chin, just to give some color back to my face. Once I'm done contouring, I'm going to be taking my Bobbi Brown corrector in light peach to conceal those under eye bags and I think this concealer does a really great job of covering the bluey purpley undertones of eye bags and some people say it creases on them but I think that if you put setting powder over it, it should be fine. So let's go on to the eyes. I'm taking my Elizabeth Arden Luxury Cheek and Eye Palette with this nude color and I'm going to be taking it on the Bobbi Brown Eye Sweep brush. It's just a fluffy brush and placing it all over the eye to absorb any oil on my eyelids and cover any discoloration. Makes for a great base. Then I'm going to take on my pencil brush this navy blue color, this beautiful navy blue color and I decided to use blue instead of the conventional black because I found it more interesting and I just wanted to go for an alternative color. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner and just gonna make a cat eye. Easy peasy if you want a tutorial on that just let me know and I'll do one for you. Now for the challenging bit, I'm going to take that line from the inner corner of my lash line underneath the lashes and I'm just going to go under that winged line and trace along a line making a second line underneath the wing. And this part for me was not easy so please excuse the slowness and the mistakes. <laughs> which are coming, you'll see.
So phew, once I think I finally got that line down, I take a peach shade from the palette on this fluffy brush and I'm just putting it on the eyelid underneath that cut crease that I created because that's what it looks like she had on the picture and then with this Real Techniques angled liner brush just going in to the inner corner of the eye So once that's done, I'm taking my Shuamera eyelash curlers and we're going to curl those eyelashes. I like to do one, two, three down and then push the eyelashes up and do one, two, three, four in the upward position that I'm going in with my MAC Zoom Lash in black and putting lashings and lashings of mascara on my eyelashes top and bottom. I really love this mascara. It's so great. And then you can go in for these spiky eyelashes if you want to. I preferred not to and I'm just going to make that cut crease a bit more smoky, smoking out that liner a little bit because the look, I can't really see what's on her eyelid but it looks very very smoky and sultry. Then I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right with you. So let's do our brows. I'm just brushing them out with a spoolie brush and I'm taking the Benefit Gimme Brow in medium deep on the ends of my brows. Then I'm going to take the light medium shade and brush the front of my eyebrows through just brushing them upwards. Next I'm going to highlight with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla and just taking that on the bottom of my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin and just using my fingers to blend it in today. The reason I do this extra step is because I think it gives a very beautiful, natural, highlighted effect, a kind of lit from within, which I really love. It gives my face a lift, so that's why I spend a little bit more time doing this. Once I'm done blending all that in, I'm going to take my Illamasqua Cream Blush in Zygomatic, which I really love for dramatic looks because I think it's a very natural blush. It just blends into the skin and gives this beautiful glow being a cream blush, but doesn't look too ostentatious at all. Now to highlight a bit more, I'm going to take my MAC eyeshadow in Soft Force, which I love for highlighting, and highlight those inner corners, make a point on my nose, making it appear more rounded, and I'm going to line my Cupid's bow, which gives a beautiful full look to the lips. Then I'm going to take my MAC Cream Stick Liner in Buree and it's a beautiful nude color and just line my lips and when I to do nude looks I tend to line the upper lip only. I don't know why, I just prefer it that way. I don't feel my bottom lip needs any help with volume I guess. Oh my Gilliant, I forgot to line the waterline so I'm taking my NARS eyeliner in Las Ramblas and lining the waterline. I'm sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. For the last step, I'm taking my NARS Velvet Lip Pencil in Belle de Jour and coloring in my whole lip with that. I love this color. I find it very 60s, 70s era appropriate and goes beautifully with this look. And now I'm patting it in and making sure everything is seamless and voila!
I want to thank you guys so so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing this look for you. It was so much fun. And if you like this look, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me what you thought and what are you going to be for Halloween. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on my social media and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!